Hi everyone, I'm Annette Abendanza, the graphic designer for the Native Rhythms Festival in Melbourne, Florida. I'm here at the Kissimmee Prairie Preserve near Okeechobee, Florida. Oh, excuse me one moment. Hey guys, can you keep it down just a little bit? Well, I can't blame them for being excited. They just found out that they've been selected as this year's featured theme for the Native Rhythms Festival logo. That's right, the 2024 Native Rhythms Festival logo is the beautiful Florida Sandhill Crane. And please stick around if you'd like to learn more about the Sandhill Cranes and this year's festival. If you are a resident of Florida, you may be very familiar with the Jurassic Park sounding call of these magnificent birds. The crane's distinctive loud call can be heard up to two miles away. Sandhill cranes are primarily gray birds with long necks and long legs and a very distinguishing bald spot of red skin on top of their heads. Male and female cranes look very similar and adults can be almost four feet tall with a wingspan over six feet. Sandhill cranes can live up to 20 years or more. A very impressive sight to behold, cranes fly with their neck and legs outstretched, unlike most birds that have their necks and legs safely tucked during flight. They are also known for their unique dancing skills. Consider yourself fortunate to come across sandhill cranes in the throes of their mating dance, as the males leap and prance with wings outspread, bowing and cackling to attract the attention of a mate. You will seldom see a solo sandhill crane as they travel in pairs or families. Sandhill cranes mate for life and return to the same nesting site every year. Both parents share in the nest building and caring for hatchlings. Baby sandhill cranes are called colts, probably because of their long, strong legs. So where does the name sandhill come from? The common name of this bird refers to habitat like that at the Platte River on the edge of Nebraska's sand hills on the American Great Plains. There are actually two species of sandhill cranes in Florida. The Florida sandhill crane lives here year round. The greater sandhill crane migrates south from the Great Lakes and the prairies of Iowa and Nebraska to spend their winters in Florida's prairies and wetlands. The Florida Sandhill, numbering four to 5,000, are joined every winter by 25,000 migratory greater sandhill cranes. Sadly, the range of the Florida Sandhill Crane greatly diminished in the 20th century, mainly due to habitat loss from ever-expanding urban sprawl, agriculture, and hunting. With the nickname Ribeye of the Sky, from its reputation of being the best tasting meat found on the wing, unfortunately still places these poor creatures in high demand of hunters. The Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1916 protected all sandhill crane subspecies from hunting, but hunting seasons have been reopened in some states. However, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission listed the Florida sandhill crane as a threatened species in 1974 due to habitat loss, and they still currently remain legally protected from hunting in Florida. So what do cranes have to do with Native American culture? Cranes are often featured in Native American art, dances, and ceremonies, representing grace, wisdom, and connection with the spiritual world. To find out more about the Sandhill Crane, please check out the links listed below in the description. And we hope you will join us November 8th to 10th, 2024, and every second weekend in November for the Native Rhythms Festival, which features three days of live music, fun, food, arts and crafts during Native American Heritage Month, and honors the cultures of the indigenous peoples of the Americas through music and especially the music of the Native American flute. For more information about the Native Rhythms Festival, please check out our website at nativerhythmsfestival.com.